Hello friends, I am Ashwin. Welcome to my chess channel. In this video, I will show you a beautiful chess game played by Alexander Elekhine against a chess amateur. The game was played in 1931 in a simul exhibition. In this video, we will see a beautiful chess pattern that is Borden's mate. And I will again emphasize on the fact that the biggest difference perhaps between the chess master and chess amateur is the knowledge of their patterns right in this video we will see a Borden's mate what is Borden's mate? Borden's mate is basically checkmate with two bishops in the middle game or in the opening but normally it happens on the queen side but in this game it happened in the center of the board so let's start in this game Elekhine had a white pieces he started the game with pawn to e4 and now pawn to e6 French defense Pawn to d4, pawn to d5, and now knight c3, and bishop b4, and this is whenever variation, French whenever. And here, main move is to play pawn to e5, but in the game, Elekhine played just bishop to d3, and it's perfectly fine. Why it is fine? Because you are just following the general opening principle, you are developing peace, so this should not be the bad one right and now happens bishop capture c3 pawn capture c3 and what black get black get white's double pawn on the c file in this position black played pawn to h6 maybe stopping this bishop g5 in case of knight to f6 but on the next move elekhan immediately finds another diagonal for his dark square bishop with bishop to a3 and all of a sudden this bishop becomes really dangerous in the game black played knight b to d7 now queen to e2 with a threat of pawn capture on d5 sorry not this position after queen e2 white's threat is to capture pawn on d5 for example black is playing a6 then pawn capture on d5 and e6 pawn is pinned so you can't recapture on d5 therefore Black choose to exchange the pawn on e4 with pawn capture on e4, bishop capture on e4, and now knight g to f6, and he thought he gained a tempo, of course, and now bishop to d3, and friends, this is not a normal retreat, actually, that sets a very nasty trap, and here, the only move, only move for black to get an equal game is to play pawn to c5. Where white can play knight f3 and after queen f5, he can go to bishop to b2, pawn capture d4, knight capture d4, and now both can castle. But in the game, black thought that you know white can do nothing and he just play pawn to b6. And he thought that on the next move, he can most probably play bishop to b7 and then pawn to c5. But this is actually a mistake, big blunder. And now it's a white to move. All you need to do is pause the video here and find the super simple but winning move. This time not super genius. This is super simple move. And it is queen capture on a6 check. A beautiful queen sacrifice. And now if queen to e7 then queen capture e7 is just checkmate. And in case of f capture e6 which happened in the game then bishop to g6 is just met and this is Borden's mate met with two bishops and friends this normally happens on the queen side because you have already placed your bishop on f4 and another bishop can go to just a6 a similar kind but here it is in the center of the board so what a beautiful game by Alexander Elekhine so I hope friends that you like this video and if you like this video please do subscribe my channel Press the like button for the same and do comment here. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.